Good evening and welcome to the John Report. I'm John, here's my report. WSU professors have announced a plan to study how much methane gas cows produce when they belch. <laughs> WSU administrators have announced that from now on there will be no more alcohol served in the faculty lounge. <laughs> Metro has issued a bulletin advising all riders stranded by the December 18th storm to hold tight. The buses are almost back on schedule and they'll be there soon. In related news, the bus tunnel had its first mugging this week. Officials say, well, they're glad that's over with. <laughs> the Air Force canceled a billion-dollar contract with Boeing because the system they ordered didn't work. A spokesman for Boeing expressed surprise since that was a requirement that defense systems never had to meet before. <laughs> Business Week magazine gave the University of Washington School of Business a low rating in a recent issue. The dean of the UW Business School said he would not respond to the opinions of a magazine that he's never even heard of. <laughs> the Hanford Nuclear Reservation has agreed to accept low-level radioactive waste from New York. Officials say that workers are getting bored spilling in-state waste. <laughs> Organizers of Everett's new Citizen CPR training program say that their goal is to make Everett the best place in America to have a heart attack. <laughs> Tacoma, Tacoma is considering a similar program based on bullet wounds. <laughs> a state official says he has a plan to improve the air quality on Tacoma Tide Flats. He also says the saucer ride was great and the Martians were very friendly. <laughs> Federal Way is forming a cultural arts commission. Their first projects are a fuzzy dice exhibit and a lecture series on how to tell the difference between real and fake velvet paintings. <laughs> the new city of Des Moines' new motto is Sales with Pride. This replaces their dangerous old motto, Race You to the End of the Pier. <laughs> And Seattle author Robert Fulgham's book, All I Really Need to Know I Learned in Kindergarten, is now into its second year at the top of the bestseller list. However, this week, Fulgham admitted that the title is not quite true since he did learn one other thing on a scout campout. This has been the John Report. Thank you.